Okay, as promised, I said I'm going to make individual videos for all the lessons that we've had. That's quite a few <laughs> videos. So, where I'm going to start, and that's the beginning, that's going to have to be stick control. Good old stick control. Mercy. Everybody, every drummer should have this in their library. And I'm not going to say you have it or you don't have it. If you, It should be in your library. So, the first video I'm going to make is going to be on a drum pit. And quite a few of them are going to be on a drum pit. And they're all going to have labels like if this is video number one, there would be video number A, uh, A, video number B, video number C, for number one A, number one, uh, one C, so on and so forth, for the drum pad. And I'm going to start to do uh, some on the drum set as drum set applications for these exercises. So let's start with uh, page five. And let's... Uh, do the, the uh, stick control book the way George Lawrence Stone intended it to be done. Now, I've learned all of these different concepts, well, most of my concepts, from my teacher, Joe Morello, who studied with uh, George Lawrence Stone. And this is the first way that you want to do stick control. You have to understand there's a lot of scientific things here with the drumstick developing one sound. And these are, if you don't know the sticking heights or sticking positions, this is a full stroke. Now, when I hit the right hand, I have a sound. When I hit the left hand, I have another sound. Now, George Lawrence Stone has organized this in such a way that the right side and the left side should sound equal. If not, you make the adjustment to make it sound equal. So. The way I did this, and at first was without a vamp, and we'll get into that in a second, was just do the line in eighth notes, not 20 times in cut time. It's in eighth notes, it's counted one and two and three and four and. Now, I do it first without a metronome, so I get the sound three and four and. But notice, before I make the next stroke, I'm back. An equal sound. That's what we want to do no matter what the sticking pattern is. If I did, for example, line three, which is two rights and two lefts, sound the same. And before I make the next stroke, I'm always back in that position. So we're going to take the metronome and we're going to do it with the metronome with the vamp. Now when I say a vamp, uh, a vamp, we, we could do it a couple different ways, but this particular vamp is called an eighth note vamp. What I do is I do the line and I repeat the line. When I come to the end of the line, I keep going, but I end it with the first line with my left hand. That just simply means I'm going to vamp for four measures with my left hand, playing eighth notes, like this. One, and, two, and, three, and four, and two, and two, and three, and four, and three, and two, and three, and four, and four, and two, and three, and four, and back to the second line, and two, and three, so on and so forth. <coughs> now, what I try to do religiously is at least that one page every day in full strokes like I just did just now and you know I don't do it at like nine o'clock every morning or one o'clock in the afternoon my schedule fluctuates so because of teaching and, and doing online lessons and making videos when I have the opportunity I'll sit down and say okay I'm doing that page five at least page five in full strokes with the vamp and then I'll hit with the metronome, and the metronome's going to lock me in to a certain tempo. And if you notice when I played that, I wasn't using arms. It was from the wrist, so on and so forth, strengthening the wrist. So now I'm going to turn the metronome, as that's the quarter note, on 50. Now, you're locked into this. That's going to be one, two, three. I'm going to do the first line of the amp. 
adjustment and it's to do it slow it's more like a loosening up or a warming up exercise to say hello right hand hello left hand now I'm not I didn't play any bass drum pattern there I have a, a whole series of vamping patterns with different uh, bass drum patterns and we'll get into that in some other videos but this is the first video of a tremendous amount of videos that will be made and it's just on the drum pad and we will, we will uh, take each video, most each video rather, and um, do a drum set application. So this is step number one. I hope this helps and if you have any problems or any questions, give me a holler. And this is, uh, I said I was going to give with each uh, video a PDF. Well, you don't need a PDF for the first three videos that I'm going to make. You should have the stick control book. If you really don't have it, man, you have to get it because that's how I teach. So have a good day and we'll see you next video.